Elon Musk has never been one to play by the rules. His unconventional leadership has already seen Twitter's value plummet by more than 50%, with a surge in misinformation and trolling causing advertisers to leave in droves. Yet all that may pale in comparison to what he has in store for April Fool's Day this year. So to understand what's really going on, stick around as Jonas takes it on. Love him or hate him, Elon Musk is someone who certainly knows how to attract attention. He regularly courts controversy, which has cultured a cult of personality around him. His fans see him as a master manipulator, able to expertly outsmart and outmaneuver his opponents like a grandmaster of chess as he challenges the establishment. His critics see him as an egomaniac, flouting labour laws and common decency to selfishly enrich himself at the expense of others. But one thing is certainly true, he is an expert at getting people to talk about him, and nothing better encapsulates that than his plan for Twitter, which goes into effect on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Twitter has long relied on the blue check mark to help distinguish between legitimate businesses and personalities from those seeking to imitate or parody them. Yet that was undermined by the introduction of Twitter Blue, a subscription model that allows anyone to simply purchase an $8 subscription, which has resulted in people impersonating companies. It resulted in billions of dollars being wiped off the share prices of companies like Eli Lilly and Lockheed Martin. But whilst those companies did see an initial hit to their share prices, it should be noted that they recovered extremely quickly. After all, the fundamental business models of these companies didn't change. It was only the perception that briefly had. Now we are likely to see the second wave of impersonations as Twitter will start removing the blue check marks of legitimate businesses and personalities from the 1st of April, whilst allowing anyone with $8 to simply purchase one. That will make it extremely difficult for investors and journalists to be able to distinguish between legitimate accounts and pranksters. Businesses can pay $1,000 a month for a gold check mark, but few seem to be in a hurry to do so. More importantly, it isn't an option for celebrities or individuals, making them more of a target for impersonation. Elon Musk has talked about the old system being one of lords and peasants, yet how many businesses can afford $1,000 a month for a vanity tag? If anything, it makes verification more elitist than it has ever been. All of this means there is potential for April Fool's Day 2023 to be one for the record books. And all of this seems to be part of a deliberate plan by Elon Musk as he has openly expressed his delight at the rise of trolling, hate speech and disinformation on Twitter. We'll find out before too long if these predictions are right or if Twitter has put enough safeguards in place to prevent a repeat of the issue seen last time but I know that I'll certainly be keeping a close eye this April 1st to see what actually unfolds. What do you think is going to happen? Will Twitter again dominate headlines for all the wrong reasons? Will things be different this time? What is Elon Musk's actual plan here? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've liked this video, then please like and subscribe. That way you can stick around as Jonas takes it on.